No exchange on either. I'm on this side. I'm not taking a ride. If I take flicks with the guys, I gotta put emojis over like three faces Cause the flex can't see those eyes People I shouldn't be but God, I have a wedgie They will go strap for just a self Don't piss me off Any reasons why I'm Good morning I think I'll talk to you guys when I get in the car Alright guys, so we are back We're back at Azan's because blinds that I was telling you guys was way too short. Luckily, they do exchanges. I looked on the receipts. I found the receipt. No exchange on items over 14 days. 20% restocking fee on return item. Da, 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 da. Anyways, I measured the width of the window and it's 36 inches. So I actually did see a 36 inch thing of magic in there. So that's what we're gonna get. Take it out from now. Here we are. And then I forgot to find change to pay for this um, parking because there was no parking out at the front, so I have to pay two hundred dollars. Do I have two hundred dollars? <laughs> That's the funny thing. I don't even know if I have two hundred dollars. Tell me, two hundred dollars? I have two thousand dollars, but I don't have two hundred dollars. I don't really walk around with cash, which is a very bad thing. It's a dirty habit that I need to get out of. But if I just don't have it, I just don't have it. I have it in. I probably have it in coins. I have so many coins in here. I mean, if push comes to shove, I don't think I'll get my five fifty dollars. Five, ten, twenty, thirty. 40, 50, see my friend, 110. It's looking good, people. It's looking good. See, 190, 200. Period. Now we're gonna go inside because I gotta go. I'm gonna see if I can find a guy to get this car tinted today because. Alright, that's a sign, guys. That's a sign. Muchacho, muchasco. Hey y'all. Have I spoken to you guys all morning? I'm not even sure. Either way, I did go to Azan's and I did get the correct uh, cordless blind. So this one is 36 inches by 64. Hopefully this works because I've measured it and it was 36. But the thing is, I hope it's not too exact. I don't even know how to install this. But either way, I can't bring this back. So if anything, I'll just sell it back to somebody that has a window that is 36 inches i don't know it's pouring it is pouring rain right now i went to look at some mirrors a while ago but i didn't get to show you guys the mirrors because the one that i want it's not at the store it's at the warehouse so i'll get a call later with some updates as to when i can get that my stove is supposed to come this week i, I don't know which day this week you know i was kind of hoping that it would have been today but i really think it's going to come wednesday i bought some lunch from china max which I am waiting on because I, I went to go look at the mirrors while the young man went to buy the food and we're supposed to meet up and I'm waiting on him so yeah also I'm not in the best of mood and it's so funny that somebody messaged me somebody messaged me and was like you know I'm watching your vlogs and when I watch them I realized that your luteal phase in your cycle is just always very extreme and you know you should look into seeing if you have PMDD mind you I always thought about it but I never when I really when I really like self diagnose myself but honestly honestly truly to me it is just more than a regular PMS for real and it's just so funny that even after she said that because I haven't responded to her yet is that my seat but sometimes I mentally respond so girl if you're watching this I know something I want to answer you I think I don't know I don't know what happened but I saw it I saw the message it just so happened that this morning I'm scrolling on TikTok and I saw a post with a girl saying she has PMDD and how it just feel like it'll ruin her life and, and somebody else in the comments was like PMDD cost me my relationship and child like I totally understand and this is just so sad because other women that don't experience it they can understand to an extent but not really but it's even harder for men to even understand because they don't even they don't even understand the humble period speaking of period somebody comment on my last video talk about oh oh women we need to stop talking about period it grossed me out nigga i don't give a f your mother never see period you don't have sister i don't have, have sister you don't have woman with see period like shut shut up worst man in i mood don't piss me off don't piss me off as i was saying so i'm just there honestly i'm just here i'm so sick of the rain i'm sick of the back-to-back -back rain i'm sick of the tropical storms the hurricanes the tropical depressions the 
squalls. I am sick of it. I have clothes for wash. We're just. It's driving me. It's driving me insane. It's every day, every day, it goes like rain. Rain. And it's so bipolar too because it can rain now. And within half hour, it's like the cloudy skies are gone. It's back to blue sky and scorching sun. Roads that you were on that was flooding out, you pass them back and it's like nothing happened. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Whoever is controlling the weather, stop now. Because I feel like I'm going to just play with the switch. Trip, 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 on, off, on, off, on, off. Stop. It's enough. All right? I really need to pee. So I need to hurry up. <laughs> it needs to be done so bad. I will talk to you guys a little bit later or when I get home. And put up this these blinds. So, yeah. I'm back home now and guess what? The people from court said they're coming with my stuff. And you know what's so funny? Not even half hour before that call, I was on the phone with daddy and they're like, is it coming today? And I'm like, no, I feel like it will come maybe Wednesday because it's a three to five business days. So I didn't expect them this quickly and I knew I should have bought the guests over the weekend, you know. So we have a hurry up and I try up and down and try to find one guest person that could bring the gas and the regulator and the hose and whatever in the time. Speaking of which, I need to call that car. Hello? Wait, that is a different gas man calling me. This is what impatience will do to you. So of course, the people them said, they're not coming if I don't have the gas and the hose and the clamp and the ray, 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 because I already paid for installation and all that stuff. So they're like, it doesn't make any sense to come with a stove if they ain't got them to install. Da, 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 da. So, me or up on a call, gas places, whatever, whatever. Eventually, I found one to call $15,000. Don't know if I'm being robbed, people. Please let me know. Because <laughs> this gas man just told me 11 for a 30 pound with the regulator and all that stuff. And then this one is telling me 15 for a 25 pound. But at this point, it's whatever. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pay it. And then next time, when I need to refill the cylinder, I will just use this person and tell them to change the cylinder to the 30 pound. It'll work out cheaper for me. So that is that. Speaking of which, I need to call back. Who did I just call? I don't know which one number I just called. I need to call them back and ask them to get, give me a split head cylinder. That's what my daddy said I need to get. I don't want to be an adult anymore. I'm tired of this. Look all I'm color. Look all I'm color. And I'm asking her, I told her when the guy drive out or when I leave out, Please let me know so I can tell the courts people that when to come because I just want everything to be at one time, you know, and just get it over with. I do not like going back and forth things so that I'm already not having the greatest day. You know, this was a little highlight in my, in my day, in my moment, so I just want it to flow somewhat smoothly. So yeah. Anyway, here is the upgraded blinds it still looks so big but it's not so i'm gonna put it up as i said if it is not the right size this time i am just gonna have to sell it back um, i will have no use for it i don't know i feel so much more confident in this one so i'm gonna tear up the box the last one you know i was very cautious with the box and everything <laughs> this but of course it comes with instructions so I don't know these these ones don't seem like common sense to me so I need a little I need a little help people at this point I think I'm just gonna put it up and then oh, we just see it being up cut I can't run anymore <laughs> this is literally how it looks at the moment I put my picture frame packaging there just so nobody can see inside Let me figure out what I'm going to do. I don't know. Never back down, never what? Never gonna get you up. Never gonna let you down. I had to get help. I did have to get help though. But the blinds are up.
And you know what else is up? My curtain rod. So I'm going to be putting up my curtains now. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. Another reason why I didn't want to show you guys me putting up the blinds is because you're going to be able to see outside and no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm so happy for the help that I got. You girl, big up yourself. I'm not going to call your name right now, but yeah. Big up yourself. But like, you see that? I'm just not about to pay the man. You see that perfect fit? I'm so happy, guys. Like, I don't think you're going to understand how happy I am about this. And I can open it and I can close it. But I'm gonna be stuck in them myself and y'all can buy them at the seashell above. Great. Like in here is an absolute mess everywhere is so dusty. Oh yeah, I'm going to put up the curtains in my room now. One of the windows in the living room still don't have any curtains yet because honestly, we're tired. We were extremely tired, but she left the power drill with me to borrow. So this is basically what it looks like on that side with the sheer ones and this is what it looks like without it. I am gonna put them on but we just couldn't matter hey guys i don't think i've actually been face to face with the camera today and i can't tell when last i took up the camera i was having a very bad couple of days not gonna lie i think the last thing i showed you guys was the blinds being up I haven't put up the other set of curtains in my room yet, so I'm not ready for showing that. But my stuff came today, as you guys could already see. But I couldn't show you the end result yet because I had to rush out back on the road. But here it is. Ta-da! Very cute. See, it actually has a lot more space than I anticipated, so I don't need to unplug that every minute. I can just dry it over. And the cupboard can still open and everything. I'm so happy. I'm really happy with it. This is this is all we need. We don't think we need anything bigger than this. Like this is fine. Initially, I didn't like this, but it, it actually serves a purpose. <laughs> you know, like when you're cooking and oil splashing and all that type of stuff. Yeah. Instead of going on my walls, it'll go right there, and then I can just clean it off. And when I'm done. Can just put it back you know yeah yeah my little my little oven your girl is gonna be in her baking era yeah, look at that look at that uh-uh don't watch me to them ah i'm super excited also guys guess what my period finally came after six days of being late <laughs> i was more annoyed than anything because it's like i know you're coming stop pissing me off so I'm no longer as angry as I was. It's very drastic when my period is supposed to come in. I, you know what? We're not even going to talk about that. Who cares? Who cares? Child, I don't know. I don't know. I got invited. It's like a formal event, business chic or whatever. And we want to get there at nine. It is no, I don't think it's seven yet. It's probably almost seven o'clock and I have nothing to wear. And my toes aren't done. So I finally got the lamp from Shanita and I have my own gel polish and stuff like that. So I'm just going to put like two coats of it because I know that I want to go professionally to my nail tech so she can take off the poly gel and all of that stuff. I just want it to look good from far. You don't need to look good up close, just from far. I need to find something to wear. I need to find something to wear. I have no idea. Like, do I have anything business chic? Do I? I don't, I don't. <laughs> my dresses are very formal. They're all very short. They're all just very, you know, scab like. <laughs> so the only thing that I have are these pants. They're like, we call them work pants. These, I've never worn them before. But it's like, do I want to wear these tonight? Especially since it's been raining so much. I do not want them to get dirty. I really don't want them to get dirty. I don't even have anything to wear with. Anyways, what would I even wear with this? This is not my, this is not really my forte. You know, like, what, may, what the hell may I really like wear? I don't know what landed. Because this is serious now. And right now, this is looking like the only option. I bought this last year when I went to, to Dom Rip. These are the pants. 
Honestly, I think I only ever tried them on once. Okay, they're, they're long enough. I have no idea what top to wear with it. Or maybe I should just go simple and just wear like a cute dress, not, not necessarily formal, but I don't know. This look like a work me go. This is a proper work dress. <laughs> I'm not wearing this. I can't do it. Let's actually put this on and what if it looks like really sexy. I'm gonna be wearing this hair because I cannot be bothered to comb my hair. Or should I comb my hair? My arm or shave? Guys, let me let me just figure this out. And uh I'll, I'll come back. Yeah. Alright guys, so I just finished taking my shower. I found a dress. I've worn this dress before, but I never got any pictures in it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda tired of taking night pictures, so I don't even know if I'm gonna take a picture in this either I need some day pictures i need to go out go for drinks do something in the days and get some nice sunlight in my pics this dress will be worn a third time this is after seven now and yeah i'm kind of panicking i low-key washed the hairline of the wig i was contemplating wearing my real hair and i decided no so i'm gonna wear the wig and then my toes are still not done and i might i might end up doing those last wish me luck i'm not gonna vlog the getting ready process Y'all will see me when I'm done. One day, I will actually sit down and do a detailed makeup routine, whatever y'all want to call it. But until then, yeah, I'm going to go on TikTok right now. I want to tell you guys how I had every bit of intention of vlogging last night. But as soon as I was almost ready, I just started to like, my brain just start fried. Honestly, my brain just start fried. My wig... It wasn't it wasn't laying on my head how it was supposed to it's like my hairline was way too far back it was just it was just a whole shit show like him did have theme crisis me did have my crisis I'm already up on my period so miserable times a honey when I got there the event was very much when I got out with it Anyways, I was not having a great time. The heels is like messed up with the heels. Honestly, it wasn't that bad, but it was grass. I just feel like y'all see all this rain that has been falling. Why well, would you choose for have the event somewhere where I got have grass and mud? And y'all want us to dress in business, chic, formal attire. And then the food just kept taking so long to come. It was just to me, it was just a disaster. Maybe if I wasn't going through what I'm going through right now, it wouldn't have been that bad. Maybe if I was drinking up the champagne and all that stuff, it wouldn't be that bad, but it was just not a great experience for me and I didn't feel like vlogging anything. So that dress will be worn a third time, like I said. But anyways, it's a new day. My new tech texted me yesterday and she was like, hey, I thought we were working on your toes. <laughs> I haven't been there like, two months three months maybe mind you my nails grow very slow my toenails grow very slow so i can do that however yesterday i had all intentions of filing off the poly gel and just doing it myself so i could go out last night that didn't end up happening either so i had to go out there with my crusty toes shame would have killed me shame would have killed me but luckily here down to my knees looks great you know Anywhere past my knees, just mind your business. That's not me. I was a different person. But anyways, she texted me. She's like, I thought we were working on your toes. I'm going to say, hey, my work. You know what she replied? Aw. <laughs> not even what I said. No, man, you can come same way like oh, you're a lawyer. Because it's so bad. Listen, aw. <laughs> you're broke. That's too bad. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's the fastest I wake up this morning. And look for me to them and say, I'm not bad, I broke. My brother broke. We gotta get this fixed today. Today. So I have a couple things that I want to do. So that I'm going to go and do that. So my appointment I set for 2.15. It's now almost one o'clock. Call it one o'clock, right? I'm considering or contemplating if I should leave out now because I want a curtain rod. I want two curtain rods for my living room. One of them that I had is too short for the window that I want to put it at. So I need to go get a longer one. That's number one. Now, I'm thinking, should I go to Azan's to get that curtain rod now and then go to my nail tech? Because after the nail tech, that's going to be like 4 o'clock. I want to be off 
the road. I just know the traffic is going to be disgusting. I want to be off the road. I'm trying to see what I want to do. I haven't eaten all morning. <sighs> and you see what I'm doing, obviously. Right now, I just don't have an appetite and I'm not going to force myself. Not today. Not today. I need, I need a break. I need a break. Also, it's finally happening. There's a series I've been hinting at, talking about, and I've been giving myself excuses as to why I don't think I'm ready to do that content yet, but me and ChatGPT had a long conversation this morning and I decided I'm gonna just go for it. I need to get some stuff from the supermarket. I'm also wondering, should I do my grocery haul thing today? No, I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna have it. Weekend. Not today, I'm gonna have it. We can't have stuff in my yard and, and not using them. I have no excuses to not be at my house anymore. As you can see, I've been at my house for a couple of days straight now. Sleeping there, eating there. It's been leftovers, maybe not eat because, you know, I never have my stove. But I have a stove now. So, we up. Ah, everything is coming together. And I'm just so proud of myself. I can't wait to have a coach. I can't wait to get my coach. I'm gonna add it on yet. So, nobody feel like me, I don't know. And then I can start maybe having one or two friends come over and we can actually sit in the couch and lounge. I'm gonna really like people on my bed. That's why right now I'm gonna really want to buy them my hand because I'm gonna like people on my bed. And you know, it's not all the time you really want to sit down around the dining table because that's where everybody's gonna have to sit right now. I'm gonna want to buy it on my bed. Y'all know how I feel about people in their outside clothes on my bed. So, no. You know, I'm gonna phone now. Yeah, I'm gonna leave out now. Make my life easier. People, can you believe I'm here all of, let's say, half hour early? I thought there was going to be more traffic on the road because when I left out, right, I think I need to be on the road by now just in case of any traffic. Then, passing Barbican side, there was a lot of traffic. So I'm like, all right, good thing I came out at this time. So by the time I get there, it should be at least two o'clock or whatever. People, it's 1.38. What am I gonna do here? I'm 35 minutes early. This is ridiculous. All right, people, my time up now. And you know, time flies when you're having fun. I was just in here on my phone scrolling a kiki keen like I always do. And it's now 2.09. So I can just go walk in there now and Buy a one snack and a one juice in there because they be selling that stuff. I ease myself. Yeah. Oh my god, I have a wedgie. <laughs> but, uh, no, 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 no. I have good news, guys. I don't have poly gel on my toenails anymore. My toenails, my big toenails, have officially grown back. Ah! I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Mind you, they're not at their full potential right now. They're not the prettiest they're not the prettiest they, they could have they could have grown a little bit more just a little bit more before i decided to fully you know not commit to poly gel anymore but we're gonna work with it it's okay from far you know like when people tell you that you have spongebob teeth i have spongebob toes i'm gonna go now i'm gonna go to the supermarket i'm actually not even going to buy what i want to buy young man said he want to cook tonight and he asked me to get some stuff at the supermarket so made it plan for going me here tonight but mm -mm. I go up there for the cooking mm -hmm. yes my love yes my love so to the supermarket we go since I am in New Kingston and I'll be passing through Barbican I'll just stop at Lushusan plus I like going to the little market over there to get um, grown provision and stuff like that so yeah I went to Lushusan right when I got in there I realized this is not the supermarket I went to the last time. The layout is different. Only to remember that the supermarket I wanted to go to was Fresh Foods. I left and I was like, all right, let me at least get little potato and onion and whatever at the little market that is there. I go there, I see two ladies. One where I get all the customers and the other one where I really not get none. I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to serve her. I'm going to give her. I'm going to give her a little strength and a little support. Tell her what I want. I'm going to say, all right, I have two grand. What we can get with the two grand. Eventually, she starts saying like, "Oh, that it would be more, whatever I want would be more," and I'm like, "That don't make no sense." But okay, so I was like, "All right, have the sweet paper, take out whatever," because that two grand was all the cash I had, and I was like, 
I just want some potato and onion and thyme at this point. So there's more six potato. It's like she took up the six biggest potato them. I do not buy vegetables or any of these things at the market. I normally buy everything in the supermarket because it's just easier for me. I don't have to be arguing with any market people that tell me say, oh, a $20 more or a $30 more. I don't have the time. And I should have followed my mind and did that. I did pay $2,000 for six potatoes, two onions, and not even a handful of thyme. After, like, me, me look on her and I said, this don't make sense. Think it's my fault because I started off with saying, what well, we can't get for two thousand dollars so she tried trap me basically and i see that's why nobody's at your funky ass stall me called my father and i told him and he's like really and truly you shouldn't even spend more than twelve hundred dollars and that's why i hate it here i hate it here i've been trying to tell myself shelby don't be mad about it she probably needed it more than you it's okay it's not really okay you know but let me go do he had the money and walk off i was not pleased i was not pleased and she had the odd she had the audacity to be like please tell me what you're not pleased about i'm like i already told you what i'm not pleased about but i just let her have it and i just walked away because messy it's whatever but i'm at fresh foods now so i'm gonna go inside get my little essentials for my dinner tonight and my other little stuff that i said i wanted to buy i don't have any shopping bags once again shelby are you slow oh my god yay oh my gosh guys this this fell off of the back of my flash i have two flashes right this fell off of one of them and i had a brand new one and this one was on it and i realized it did completely fall off and this is from the jamaica food and drink thing and i was so sad about it because my said no no me forgot to wrap it up with rubber band and all that stuff but i'm so happy that i just found it and you know something in my mind was saying shelby it might drop off in the car because you didn't even really use it that much ah! i'm so happy about that okay fine that's one good thing that's happened so we're gonna keep the momentum going with good vibes, good energy! I think I need to bring that card in me just in case my card declines. <laughs> For some reason, Scotia stays embarrassing me. So, yeah. So, I am in the, I don't know, like the liqueurs and all that. I love passion fruit drinks. I love any drink with passion fruit. So, I really think I'm going to get one of the, this. This daiquiri and margarita mixer, passion fruit cocktail mixer i think i really want to get that but then you have this one margarita mixer but i prefer i don't know i just really prefer passion fruit stuff and they're having a special 10 percent off until november 30th uh, um mojitos i'm not really a fan of mojitos i do like strawberry as well all right let me see like how long they take to expire best before a lie best before october 2025 that's not bad actually i might get this and a passion fruit one um honestly i don't i don't necessarily like this that much so i don't think i want to get that i wanted some blue some blue curacao but i really want that right now though we have this one down here what is the difference between this one? Oh, this is strawberry colada so i'm guessing these are for more frozen drinks i'm not gonna be making any frozen drinks so i think i will just take oh what's this frozen that looks nice i might get this hmm so this one has strawberry peach lemon lime grape pear juices cane sugar and filtered water and the strawberry one just has strawberries lime juice cane sugar filtered water hmm it's giving i'm taking I'm, mm. it's giving i'm gonna take the frosé and the passion fruit so yeah that's what we're getting and i'm gonna get some vodka because i already have some appleton at home because yes May I use a ma <gasps> triple sec where's vodka absolute vodka do some mini water right now my color shoot I have tequila. I have apiton. I don't need these right now. So remember how I said I really like lychee juice? So there's no actual lychee juice. However, they have the lychee that comes in the can. So there's this one peeled and fitted in heavy syrup. Or you have these ones. I guess they're not peeled and fitted. I just want to know which one I you see, that's I'm not like the supermarket here, not too much nice things because now I don't see lychee, I see cherries. These are all the stuff that's in cocktails. I could, I could, mm, I could get one of these little cherries. I'm getting it. <laughs> I'm getting it. See, this is why this is all my money done. 
people, this is how my money finishes. Now I'm gonna need a, a, a martini glass because I'm gonna be making a, a martini at home. Suppose more I'm big. Remember some of stove now, you know, people? Remember some of stove now? Oh, breadcrumbs. Oh, wow. I actually was supposed to come in here for breadcrumbs, so luckily I saw that. Gluten free breadcrumbs. Them not have regular breadcrumbs. How much for breadcrumbs? When I buy no fancy fancy breadcrumbs that I don't even know if I'll ever use again. So have these breadcrumbs for 3 15 I might get this one instead, actually. Anyways, I see some glasses down here. I need a martini glass. I have $5 for one glass. You know, so this have to stop. This have to stop. I'm going to take it anyways because I want it. But what's the difference between this and the... Oh. This is not glass. Honestly, that, that's fine by me. One thousand. No bother. Me take that one in. It's all right. Me take that one in. <laughs> Here I was thinking that the one... <laughs> The plasticky one was gonna be cheaper. Am I solo? Y'all are gonna be seeing me make drinks of two glasses. You hear me? It's gonna be either the wine glasses or those two little martini glasses. No, I'm gonna want one of the um shaky shaky thingy thingy. Oh my god, y'all know what I mean. I don't understand this place, you know. How y'all got martini glasses and all that stuff, but y'all don't have the shot glasses. Not really shot glasses, but the thing where you pour the syrup in and then pour it into the Good morning, Jamwell! So you already know, it ain't morning. It's afternoon. Probably I'll see me another shirt every day, but I don't care. I'm not a shirt. And if more I'll wear it two, three days in a row, I will. I don't even know how many days it's been, but I need to go to the supermarket. <laughs> I'm shopping for myself this time. So it's officially my first little grocery shopping for me. For my apartment. That's going to be a totally different video though, so stay tuned for that. I've been in this bed for about two hours now, trying to mentally prepare myself to get up, take a shower, and go to the supermarket. I told myself I wanted to be off the road by 3 o'clock. It is uh, 1.55. So you know, so I got to end up in other traffic, which I did not want, but I had a hearing, so that's what I get. The thing is, I want to stop at True Valley first to see if I can get a curtain rod. Me keep on I said this. So you know what? I need to up myself for real. Wow, my head is I need to up myself for real. So I will meet with you guys when I get in the car. Alright, I'm here now. I'm at H and L Rabbit True Value. I don't know why I'm just so tired, man. It's 2 30 now. You can basically say that me trying to go home at or before four is totally out the window. Totally. This is also the first time in a very long time that that I drove and my car windows were open and I didn't even realize your bow windows the car the doors were open normally I, as I get inside the car I lock it but I didn't this time look they not happen to me but yeah. why did I low-key forget what I came in here for it literally just clicked back but I almost forget excuse me you want to Okay, I found curtain rod, as you can clearly see. I hate it. There's nothing more I hate than these curtain rods. I see them everywhere and I'm so sick of it. Oh, I like these ones. Do I, oh no, I don't like this. I don't like this, never mind. That's cute. <laughs> What do you really look like up here? Eight toaster of one curtain rod. Don't piss me off. Let me look back on this side, yeah, man. Cause eight thousand. I'm not paying eight thousand dollars for no curtain rod. Funny. Yeah, man. Two toes. Not impressed. I'm like, <laughs> put me somewhere on a gorgeous beach. So obviously, this is the first one that caught my eye. It's just simple, you know. But for some reason, I like this one. I don't know why I like it, but I do. I might just get it. This one is for three thousand something something, and I oh tax included. Wow. Okay. I guess this is the one I will be getting. The thing is, I don't know if I wanted this color. I definitely didn't want silver. I either wanted like a dark brown 
But honestly, this will work. This is this will work. <laughs> and I see a shorter size, a shorter, a shorter one. Because I need two for the living room. These are the two I'm getting. That one and that one. And I think that's about it. I don't think I want to buy anything more. But I really even want to come in if I'm buying nothing. Because then I'm gonna have to go to the supermarket. Like but just a thing about all of the money in the spin right now. I don't wanna spend it. Be here one creepy people. But here it, it yeah it needs to be done what is this hairstyle what else do i need in here i feel like i need something else mega look i talk back to me that's done on the way to the supermarket now i paid call it six grand <laughs> for those let's go to the supermarket okay so that's that's over with i was highly irritated why can't i record i asked another worker because basically when i was finished and i was going to the cashier one of the other workers there asked if you know if i was ready to cash and they helped me um unpack the stuff out of the trolley and whatever and i asked him if there's a policy against recording stuff and he's like he doesn't know about that because people come in there and record all the time and i'm like okay so clearly i'm me that person they have strength for because then afterwards you know after the bag done pack and everything he was like you know he probably has a slight idea why the security would say that because one time a girl came in there and bought lunch and reviewed it on tiktok and said it's the worst lunch ever basically they banned her from coming back but it's like how can you ban somebody for their opinion and the only reason why he said anything was because i had a camera the thing that i hate and i cannot wait to get a dji camera so nobody even really picks up that it's a camera and i can just do whatever i want to do in peace i really like that supermarket but sometimes uno 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 just uno do some things really just upset me if i was supposed to tell him okay i'll leave then it wouldn't matter because there are like 50 other people who are going to replace me and give them their money so <laughs> the karen in me it, it wouldn't make no sense i also have somewhere to be at seven o'clock mind you it is 4 27 and i'm not home yet probably won't even do any makeup basically i'm going to be viewing the gen x costumes it's a virtual band launch mind you but me i go in person they have a little private ray i am so exhausted i'm not gonna lie i didn't buy some of the things that i even wanted to buy and my bill my bill my bill shot me today that's actually the most I've ever, ever spent at the supermarket. Ever. This loud ass music is literally coming from a car. Why in the car does listen music at regular volume? When am I gonna unpack these things and actually show you guys? That is my thing now, you know? I mean, I know if we can do that tonight. We'll see, child. Cause this is exactly what I was trying to avoid. People, can you all explain to me why light gone in the middle of my hall? I'm gonna go to my event. <laughs> it's six o'clock, by the way, so highly doubt if I can do any makeup in these circumstances. Oh. What a day! What a day! What a day! What a day! <laughs> Let's go talk back to them. Good morning. It's a couple of days later. Again, I don't, I don't even know where I left off. This week has been quite eventful. First thing I want to say, you people that are showing my landlord my videos. We're not in pharma, chill. But anyways, <laughs> luckily, I'm not doing nothing illegal in here, cause <laughs> I'm kinda glad. I'm kinda glad you guys did that, because <laughs> I said the stove I'm just but I'm gonna have to get it returned. Cause I'm not allowed to have gas stoves in my apartment. <laughs> But I didn't know that because I've never had an electric stove before. I've never been anywhere where that was a requirement. And, you know, other people's houses that I go to, my friend's apartment, they have gas stoves. So, I didn't think it was a big deal. But she saw a blog and saw that I was getting a gas stove. And she's like, mm-mm-mm, can't have that. Luckily, because I got it from Quartz, I am able to exchange it for an electric stove. So... I already went there, talked to the people, got an exchange. I had to pay a 10% restocking fee because, you know, them dash for the box. Honestly, either way, I would have still had to pay that restocking fee because basically once it plug in, you gotta pay it. Once it hook up to the gas and everything, you gotta pay it because there's absolutely no way for them to really know if I haven't used the stove. So basically, they'll be selling uh, a second-hand stove even though i haven't even used it yet i have not used it yet after my growth i'm way and stress out and i guess you know i gave it to my dad so yeah it's okay it's okay okay i'm just happy that 
you catch early further down the line next thing you know i would try to exchange it and wouldn't be able to because i think there's like a 30 day window for me to exchange it and it was only two days so yeah i'm getting a new one on monday but yeah other than that i have just been i've stocked my my fridge really and truly i'm gonna really see what a 31 thousand dollar do and i think i might just go back to the other supermarket that i used to go to and just buy the extra stuff at this supermarket because 31 thousand fridge not even full like my fridge is not full my cupboard it you know it have a look of something but i don't know something is not right something is not right about this bill something is not right about the amount of stuff that i got already it's already done so i can't do anything about it until the next time i decide to go grocery shopping my dad came to see me yesterday and i was so happy but so sad that he couldn't spend a longer time with me i just woke up this morning bawling my eyes out because i'm like i wish he was able to stay with me and now i want to go home and I feel like I'm just so overwhelmed with a lot of things. Not the greatest time for the dog, but we push through because I have no other choice but to push through. That is what being an adult is. Even on your bad days, you still have to just shake it off eventually and continue because the world will keep spinning with or without you. These past couple of days, not, I haven't really been eating to be honest. My, my appetite is just gone. I don't know what's going on, but we need to fix that real quick i need to book my hair appointment i booked my lash appointment my toes are done i think i'm gonna just do my nails myself and i'm gonna edit this vlog that you're even seeing right now that's pretty much it after my day i said to myself say yes i'm gonna make my my dinner today can't i'm gonna give it a guess i don't think i have any other plans for the rest of the day I woke up with a splitting headache it's probably because i just need to eat but again i'm not now I feel a full thing right now. But hopefully I feel better by later. But in the meantime, I'm just going to have a granola bar. And find a, like a funny show to watch or something. Lift my spirits because I don't like it. I don't, I don't like... I just don't like how I feel. This is just me coming to kind of close out the video because... Yeah, it's done. It's done. It's over with.